Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jashley. If you're new here, hi, welcome. And if you're not new here, welcome back to another What's in My Backpack for my fall semester of my senior year at my university. I am pretty excited for this year, but I'm also nervous because I'm taking seven classes. So I'm taking 20 credits and it's a lot. I only have this semester and spring semester after to graduate so it's very like there's a lot of pressure but yeah i know that you guys really enjoy these what's in my backpack for senior year and my senior year starts in a few days so i thought i would pack everything early and show you guys what's in my backpack all right so if you guys have been watching my what's in my backpack videos you're familiar with my book bag i didn't get a new one just because i got this one like last semester so i didn't really feel the need to get another book bag this is the north face jester woman's bag backpack this is the front and then this is the back it's a little dirty my grandma did um clean it with like soap and everything so that's why it kind of looks a little new but it's not this is my ride or die for school before i would get a lot of back pain with my backpack so this one as you can see the back is very like sturdy it's very hard so it doesn't really give you as much back pain as regular like jansport backpacks and like I would say Under Armour. I've had an Under Armour backpack and it was just not the best back support. But like I said, I've had this for over a year and you can literally wash it and it would still look brand new from the front. Obviously not the back, but the front looks pretty new. All right, so right away, I'm gonna start off by opening this main pocket. This book bag only has two zipper compartments, which is the one thing I don't really like, but they are pretty big and spacious. So as soon as I open this, this is what you see when you open it it has a computer compartment and then it has like a main compartment for your books and here i keep my macbook this is a macbook pro uh, i think it's like 13 inches i i really don't know but you guys get the idea and then in my last video a lot of you have asked for my sticker this is a naruto seal sticker i got it off etsy sadly the store that i got it from i don't think they have it anymore but all you have to do is look up Naruto seal and it should pop up and then you just pick the size that you want and then that's pretty much it. All right, so next up in this big compartment for me is my iPad. I carry my iPad literally everywhere with me, everywhere in school, I take my notes on it. I used to take my notes on a notebook even when I had my iPad, but I just realized that it was so much easier to have your iPad accessible to you for your notes. This is the iPad Pro 12.9 inch. I wanted the biggest one because I, I don't know, I just like the feel of it. I would definitely recommend them for school. This is how it looks like when I open it. And then I have my second generation Apple Pencil on the side here. My case is from Amazon, I'll link it down below. But yeah, I, I love my iPad so much. If you're looking to get an iPad and you already have a laptop, I would definitely suggest it. But if you're looking into getting an iPad and you don't know if your major will require you to have a computer because I know a lot of majors require you to download specific softwares. Like for example, my statistics class required me to download a software that was only on like MacBook or like a, a regular laptop. So definitely look into your major for that because I know not everyone can get an iPad and be able to download all those softwares. But if you already have a laptop and you wanna get an iPad, definitely do it. Next in this big compartment is this notebook. I got this notebook in the Dominican Republic. My grandparents got it for me. It has a little Bible verse in Spanish right here and it's pastel blue and pastel pink and I think it's so adorable. I think this is the brand called Joy. When you open it, it has this like big folder thing for papers and it has little stickers and then it has another folder. It has a place for you to even like put your schedule in Spanish and then this is what the pages look like. It's literally all the same. I think it's wide rolled, but I don't really mind that. I just thought that it was literally so freaking cute and it's very big as you can see. I'm gonna use this whenever I have to write like handwritten notes or like I know a lot of times for my exams, they require you to do it on paper or they require you to have like an actual sheet of paper out. So that's what I'm gonna be using this for. Although I have an iPad, I do sometimes like to take notes on paper, especially when I'm like studying for an exam and like revisiting my notes and rewriting them. So I could just rewrite them on here or rewrite them on my iPad and vice versa. All right, next up, there's only a little bit of stuff left because I learned that you do not have to take your entire freaking 
bookshelf to school you have to be smart about it otherwise your back is going to kill you and as a commuter i literally don't have the option to go back to my dorm to get my books so i only have the option to take what i need and leave everything else behind and also i haven't gotten any textbooks yet because like i said my semester hasn't started yet so it might change how it looks inside my book bag when i get my textbooks but most of them are online as you guys can tell all right next up in this big compartment is this other notebook i also got this in the dominican republic my grandparents also got it for me and i think it's a drawer it's pastel pink and it actually matches like a little bit the pink that's on my big notebook and this is what the inside looks like i feel like i would use this more for like youtube planning and whenever i plan out a video because sometimes i plan a video and i always forget what i'm going to talk about or like the specific order of things so i feel like this would be really good that's why i'm taking it with me to school and also it's just the perfect shade of pink if you're a pink girl you know exactly what i'm talking about when i see the perfect shade of pink like this is it next up is my literally go-to planner like this is my actual ride or die if you guys have been watching my videos you know like you know that this is the planner that i've been using and you know that i do not want to stop using it just because i've always gotten a new planner every single semester and i want to stop doing that because that's a very bad habit of mine and it's just a waste of money because they go for like a whole year or year and a half and you're buying a new one every semester and I just wanted to stop that. But I sadly, this one only goes to December 2022, so I might have to get a new one soon. This entire thing is what I've already written on and this is what I have left. All right guys, we're finally coming to an end of my big compartment in my book bag. But the last thing is this pencil case, which I am actually obsessed with. I got it from Sheen for I believe two dollars and everything you see inside is from Sheen. Nothing is from Target, everything is from Sheen and I'm obsessed with it. It's literally just this plain random color. I believe there was two colors that you could get. I got the tan one. It has a zipper. First off inside are these gel pens that have these really cute designs. They're black ink and I love them. I got this for one dollar. A pack of five I believe for one dollar. Next in my pencil case are these highlighters that I also got from Sheen. They're pastel and what I love about them is that they have this regular little marker tip and then on the other side Side, they have the little highlighter tip so it looks like this and I really love them I've tried them out already and I'm gonna use these for my planners and also if I take notes in my notebooks and I honestly am obsessed I got this for I believe maybe like four dollars and then the last thing in here I haven't taken this out of the pack yet because I haven't used them but these are actually clear pink sticky notes like they're not regular um, colored like full solid sticky notes these are clear and they're a pink shade and I also got these from Sheen for one dollar and as you can see it brings quite a bit I believe there might be over like a hundred sheets in here but I think they're so freaking cute especially for like textbooks or writing over text so you can literally have everything and I know a lot of bio students and medical students use these for their textbooks to like outline things or draw things so I think if you're going into that field or if you're a bio student or literally Literally have a lot of textbooks that you can't write in then this is a great alternative to be able to do that and that is the end of my little pencil case haul the one thing I don't really like about it is that the zipper is a little cheap feeling but I'm not really concerned about that because like I knew that it was two dollars when I got it but I just think it's so nice and I love that it's very skinny so that it doesn't take up a lot of space and if anything I can also put it in my tote bag whenever I take that to school and yeah I think it's so freaking cute that is the end of my big compartment in my school bag all right now moving on to the little compartment on the top the one thing I do not like about this compartment is that it ends right here so it kind of gives the book bag a weird shape and also if you don't have anything in this compartment and you want to like set it up like this unzipped it kind of just falls down like that but i've gotten used to it and like i said all these book bags are pretty much the same from the north face that are this um jester like brand like i said i've gotten used to it and it's not a bad book bag so if you guys are looking into it then that is what the small pocket is like so let's get it open 
the first thing i'm seeing is my hand sanitizer i don't have this attached to my book bag because i'm so scared that one day i'm gonna be walking and it's just gonna go like this and then there's gonna be hand sanitizer everywhere so i just keep it tucked away inside my book bag just to be cautious and know where it is and that it's not open at any time the next thing i have here is my big hair tie i got this from walmart from the brand goody and as someone that has thick hair i know i cut my hair right now but when it was long it was very thick and very long so these are definitely great they expand and they you can literally do so much with them the next thing i have is my glasses which i literally need to even drive which is sad but it's the truth so i am always careful and always aware of where they are and it's easier for me to just keep them in my book bag so that whenever i leave my house i just go in my book bag and take them out next up in this small compartment is my wallet i actually got this off sheen just now again <laughs> it's a little like lilac purple almost color and i took my id out for just to show in the video but i keep my cards in here and i keep cash right here and then it also has this little like compartment in the inside that has a zipper and the zipper on this is actually really good quality and i'm surprised because it was only two dollars but yeah i absolutely love this and if you wanted to put it on your keys you could with this little handle right here next up in my little compartment is my lip gloss this is the mentha supreme 2x i got it from bath and body works like literally years ago but i still use it occasionally when i need to but now with like masks i mainly use just like lip balm and chapstick and stuff like that next up i always have a mask with me i got this from ulta years ago it's reusable re like washable i have washed this about like five times now and it still is in pretty much perfect condition and it's really nice it's really lightweight i love it but i always keep it in my book bag because you never know when you're gonna forget a mask going into class all right and then some other things i just have this five gum which is pretty new i don't know when i got this but i won't be taking it out because it's just gum so i'm gonna keep it there then i have my airpod pros in my book bag also because i like listening to music when i study and not listening to like people talk and just a loud environment that can be a school setting and then i have my keys i got this beautiful it's literally so freaking pretty this beautiful keychain off sheen for like one dollar and fifty cents i know i've said i've gotten a lot of stuff from sheen and that's because i did my back to school shopping mainly on sheen if you guys like haven't noticed i got a lot of stuff off sheen and i just think this is so freaking cute it has little hearts on it and these are my keys i wanted to not be one of those girls that has everything on their keys because i have been one of those people and it's just very annoying to have like your whole life on your keys i just wanted a simple keychain and just have my like three keys on it so that's what i'm doing and you can also like put it on your wrist and stuff and just walk around like this which is really nice so yeah that's what i have and then for context this is what the little compartment looks like mine looks like this it has two big pockets and then it has two little pockets right here if you want to put like a pen or a pencil in it and then it has this like, zipper compartment for your like more private things or things that you are have more that are more valuable and that you don't want to just like randomly slide out in this little zipper pocket i keep my vaccination card i'm showing you guys the back of it but you guys know what the front looks like i never know when i'm going to need it so that's where i keep it and then i also have a bunch of like little mints that my grandma gave me because i had a bad cough a few weeks ago so she gave me them and they look like this they're little like spirit mints i got them in the dominican republic i think they might sell them here but i'm not sure usually i also keep in this compartment my wallet and just things that are more personal sometimes my keys but yeah that's pretty much it the one thing that i didn't show is my water bottle which i usually keep in this little like water bottle compartment or this one and i usually bring my hydro flask or i bring like a shaker bottle with water on days that i'm not on campus like the entire day but you guys know what that looks like if you've watched my other video i have a yellow 32 ounce hydro flask and then i have a regular pink shaker bottle i usually just keep them here i didn't show them in this video because i can't find them because if you guys know i just came back from vacation so everything i don't remember where it's been for like the past three months so that is why i don't have it <laughs> but yeah guys that is everything that is in my backpack for my first semester of my senior year like i said i'm so excited but i'm also so nervous 
for this semester and for this entire year because like I said I'm taking so many classes and I'm just not prepared like I'm not mentally prepared to go back and on top of that if you guys have watched my previous videos you know that I'm also trying to study for the LSAT so it's it's getting pretty intense like it's getting pretty real but yeah so again here is my book bag I hope that you guys like it i hope that i did give you enough information to make you like know if you want to buy it or not instead of just like blindly going into it and buying a backpack that you haven't seen someone use before i hope that you guys have an amazing semester and i hope that everything goes well with all of your classes if you are taking a big course load i am praying for you and i'm praying for myself and i am hoping that everything works out i know that it can be mentally draining but you literally just have to push through like there's no other way i can put it you just have to literally get yourself into that mindset and tell yourself that you want to do this because you're gonna have the career that you want and the only way to have the career that you want is to study hard and to graduate that's literally what i'm forcing myself to believe that if i want to be a good lawyer i have to study hard and i have to get into law school and i mean it's working it's very hard but it's working for the time being and that's all i care about but i hope that you guys have an amazing semester and i hope that it's not too hard on you and i hope that if it is too hard on you that you can come back watch my videos and gain some motivation that's all i want for you guys to have is motivation and if i can give you that then i'm so happy about that I hope that you guys enjoyed this yearly semester what's in my backpack video if you haven't already i would really appreciate it if you give this video a big thumbs up and also join my little youtube family and hit that subscribe button i really appreciate it and i appreciate every single one of you that supports me and my channel and without further ado i love you guys and i will see you in my next video bye